Nando's 47, back on home turf, uh, South London, North Greenwich though. What you see behind me, this is the, uh, the O2, originally built in the late 90s to represent Britain moving forward into the 21st century. It now stands as a temple of uh, relentless capitalism. From that description, you can probably tell there's a Nando's in there, but it's not the Nando's we're doing today. That Nando's opened up about 2007. The Nando's that we're doing is just down the way, and that opened up in 2002. <laughs> Hello, I'm back for this one. Hope you guys didn't enjoy the last two because I wasn't there. Fuck you guys. Back in 2002, this place was, uh, was still empty, wasn't it? Yeah, no one wanted to buy it. I'm surprised that it uh, actually took off in the end because it was just a, it was just a dome. Now look, there's two Starbucks in there. There's a Costa outside, Chiquitos, Cafe Rouge, Wagon Mama, it's Tesco, and we're not even inside there. I don't like the dome. I still call it the dome because it's the Millennium uh, Dome, the Millennium Dome, isn't it? Yeah. When the O2, the company, it's a company, isn't it? O2. Yeah. Uh, bought the Millennium Dome, they decided to call it the O2, O2. so that any time someone uh, said they will come in here, they would have to say the company name. Go in O2 and then we'll go see a film at O2. No, don't go and see a film at O2. They don't have a box office, so you have to line up behind everyone else who are buying food to, uh, to get about? your ticket. Oh, get your tickets at the O2. Uh, the, the O2 Cineworld ramp, yeah. It's a fucking, it's the worst cinema. I mean, you know, it's nice and, uh, you know, it's not filthy or anything like that. Yeah, and they've got some pretty good about, screens and... It's just organised really badly. It makes you not want to go in there, ever. Here we are. I almost got run over by a bus. Fuck. Don't get run over by a bus. Right there, yeah. Also, I've noticed just over there we have a Prezzo and also a Pizza Hut right next door to each other. There's competition if you want pizzas and pasta. Yeah. But if you want chicken, or chicken related stuff. There's only one Very here, sauce. and it's Nando's. Nando's is your man. So there's, uh, there's no competition for uh, if you want uh, peri peri related stuff. Uh, we've got a nice table. And just to recap, we have Chris obviously, and we have me, I'm back, and we have Jewel. Hello. I'm so glad Lap's back. Yes, hello, Juicy Jewel. Did you enjoy the last two? I hope you did. I did, but do you know what? There was a slight little hole in my heart and it has Lap's name on it and it was absent. There was a hole in my ass with Lap's name on it. Spin is also here as well. Here as well. So the new menus, uh, there's a brief explanation here. Feast your eyes. They say that it's no secret that Nando's loves African art. We share our passion for displaying our amazing collection in our restaurants where we have more than 4,000 pieces on show. Uh, so go on, feast your eyes. This one uh, features an untitled portrait of uh, Dion Cupido. And then there are other ones. This one's called uh, Bustle 2 by Marlies Keith. There we are. Uh, this this one here uh, is called Crybaby uh, by uh, Tracy Hennan. I don't see where the Crybaby is, but there's some nice shapes. Ricky, oh wait a minute, Ladder Poetry by Ricky Dianoy. There's the ladder and there's the poetry. So by producing these beautiful artworks for your table, they actually disguise the fact that the prices have gone up. Uh, and they've disguised pretty work good because I don't know which prices have gone up. The <laughs> prices have clearly gone up. For reference, people in the future who look back on this and say, what? <laughs> that was expensive. A uh, chicken burger is £8.90 on its own. One piece of chicken on its own is now uh, £4.5 for a pork chicken and uh, £6.95 with the two sides. The first time I went to Nando's was in 1996. What? I can't even imagine what uh, what the prices were like back then. Uh, I can't remember. Someone would have to remind me. Maybe Nando's will remind me, but maybe not. Uh, they probably won't know. They've got some blinds with some artwork on the blinds. Can't really see. It's probably from when it's sunny. I'd like to pull one down just to, uh, just to have a look. Would you like to? I'll go ahead. Yes. There's a chain on the uh, on the right there. Right, look at that. 
Look at that. So when the sun's out, you get to experience uh, more artwork than uh, than we do at the uh, in the evening time. It's actually, a, you know, a dynamic a dynamic installation. I think they call that in the, the Nando's industry. So it's actually uh, pretty small in here. There's not much to it. There's uh, this place, and we're at the table at the end over there. And then there's the counter, and then there's uh, this place here. We have a glass and a skylight here. And that's it, and the front door is, um, front door's over here. This whole chicken, extra hot, with carinated corn and the cob, just arrived in like less than five minutes. So it's quite good. It's good service. This is from a uh, card as well, so this cost me two pounds something. There's no little skewers for the uh, corn again. And it's slightly burnt, but not as burnt as previous Nando's. It's quite a small whole chicken. Just means Imagine it doesn't have, it hasn't been pumped with water. Yeah, probably. Nando's joke of the month. This joke is in the style of, but not offered by, RateYourNando's.com. What's the Nando's chicken's favourite form of precipitation? I don't know. Perry Drizzle. We'll have one for you later this month, actually. We've got multiple jokes this month. So, uh, get laughing. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. I'm Susanna. I'm here after work. I didn't drink. Am I supposed to say what I ordered? What is no. that come later? No. Say hi. Hello, cruel world. We know what, uh, Damien Ginsley, the GC, has got. Uh, what has uh, everyone else ordered? Whole chicken, because we had a whole chicken stand. My mash, my corn, my halloumi, and hopefully my pineapple that should be coming. Bill got something Bill. different. Sweet potato mash. Look at that. We're going to try it. Let's see how it is. All right. Really, it's not bad at all. What have you got? I've got a medium veggie burger with curry curry chips. Yes, that's mine. Thank yeah. you. Thanks very much. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. I have uh, mango and lime quarter chicken. Um, I have some kind of rice, the name of which I have conveniently forgotten. And the ubiquitous matro peas. And I okay. tend to find out whether they're better than the last one. Awesome. Who has just arrived? Me. Hi. I'm hungry. Order something. I will. <laughs> but that means getting up. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to sit here. Good, because I've finished. Hold <laughs> <laughs> the because you're a greedy bastard. Oh, no, I have a fat cunt. Greedy cunt. We have um, a guest who uh, who isn't coming. He's uh, decided to give up and go home because he can't find a place. Uh, you know who you are. That's because he was given terrible directions it's by John. It's a bloody huge Odeon. Even if you can't find... Hello? Hello. It's a bloody huge Odeon complex. You can't find the Nando's fair enough. Nando's is secretive sometimes. It's a huge. It's part of an Odeon multiplex. Greenwich is a barren, barren plain. And then there's this thing. How can you not see that? Really? Mentalist. Your food has uh, finally now arrived. Are a what <laughs> have you got? Oh, I've got yeah, you do sort of fly chicken breast, luso beans, and halloumi. I love halloumi. Well, enjoy. Cheers, I will. Well, how are your matcha peas? Well, they look like gangrenous rat testes, and they tasted like dentist mouthwash. Okay, Jill's toilet time, very different toilet because the sinks are in the cubicles. As you can see, we have a dryer, a nice fan, which makes it nice and airy. I'll give them that much. I now shut the door, lock it, and I'm in the bathroom where the toilet is. Kind of a dirty sink. I don't mind this setup, but what if you wanted to come in, wash your hands, but not go to the toilet? You're basically inconveniencing someone who's waiting to go for a wee just to wash your hands, which I don't think is fair. So it's going to lose a flush for that. It's losing a flush for the general not that cleanness. But you know what? It's air conditioned. It smells clean. Um, not too bad. I'm going to give this Nando's toilet three flushes. See you next time. Nando's, 47. You're another! 
Greenwich Peninsula, Greater Nando's. I'm gonna go first. What? Three and a half cops. Uh, it was uh, okay food. Veggie was uh, meh, uh, but the chips were really good. Service was really good. <laughs> we're alright. And um, yeah, generally okay. Service is pretty good. Very friendly staff. Okay, next we have a Chris. Hi. All right. Uh, the service was actually pretty friendly. The woman actually put the, took us to the table and she put the menus down and opened seven menus on the table, which was a bit weird. And you know, it's beyond the call of duty. And my food came really quickly. Uh, the, it was quite spicy. It was it was good. Uh, got a bit crowded. Char stuff came out late, but he was a slow late boy and he didn't end up eating most of it in the end anyway. So that's his problem, not theirs. Four cocks. Four. An actual four cocks. Four cocks. Hello. Um, way better than expected after my last experience. Um, the staff here are lovely. The uh, whole atmosphere is very jolly this evening. Uh, the minute we came in, I actually told them which table we'd like to have, and the woman was like, yeah, no problem, you can have that one, which was really good. Of course I'm eliminating a cop for the skewers. Why would you give someone corn on the cob and then not the means in which to lift it from your plate? Bizarre. Hands. And hands. Why did they not give her hands? Because God did it first. Fuck <coughs> God. Another cock loss for everything not coming out together. I know Char was a late boy and his food came late because of that. But Lap's food didn't come when I did and that made me sad. So brings them to three and it's a very good happy three. Um, right, me personally. Short and sweet, I'm going to give it four cocks. I didn't have many problems with it, apart from Jules Corn and having its skewers, which is such a dilemma, it's unreal. That's why they gave you the skewers that come in the chicken. I know, and not the corn ones. It's terrible. Um, a bit of food coming late. Nando's can't control the weather, although they should be able to. Apart from that, I'll give it a solid four. Well, it's located on the barren plains of Mordor. The salt shakers are disturbing the ovoid. I like the ambience. The kitchen's not on fire, not like the last place, so that's nice. The peas perturbed me, but the chicken was, was lustrous and delicious dead avian flesh. I recommend it. As a result, I'm going to give it three parts. Right, well, I think this lot are off their heads because, I don't know, this, this place is grotty. It, it looks like you go around the corner and you're going to be on a fucking petrol station for a court. It's, uh, it's cramped, it's busy, the halloumi was awful, my chicken wasn't very good. The beans were alright, but it's kind of hard to fuck them up. The staff were really nice. The staff are the only reason I'm not giving this a one. So I'm going to say two cups. Next Nando's is... I You're still know. a knobhead! Ilford, 48. Ilford, 48. It's going to be fucking ill. See you then, Ilford. It's going to be <laughs> there for We're going to be sick in Ilford. It's going to be fucking sick in Ilford. Real talk, huh? If you don't come along, then you're not a time traveller. Bomb clock. <laughs>